So I wanted to take a few minutes with this video to talk about three interesting PlayStation 5 stories and if you could hit that like button on the video, thank you to those that do it and as always, it's very much appreciated. Now the stories I wanted to cover today includes the, the, this big exciting news for PlayStation 5 backwards compatibility that went live yesterday, graphics upgrade 2.0 confirmation for PlayStation 5, and God of War Ragnarok gets a new clip that got a lot of people excited along with new feature details. First, when do you see God of War Ragnarok releasing? This summer or this fall? Now that we've gotten an update on the accessibility features, which we'll get into in a sec, are we still far from launch or or will Sony have a state of play soon and we see the release date sooner than we expected? So comment below, do you see God of War Ragnarok releasing this summer or fall or the holiday? Let me know down in the comments below. Now diving into the first story of the video, the God of War Ragnarok news. So yesterday out of nowhere Sony decided to give me <laughs> a heart attack by tweeting out new God of War Ragnarok information. It wasn't what I was hoping for which was a new state of play or a new trailer or anything indicating when this game is going to release. Rather it was a breakdown of accessibility features which of course is still an important topic for a lot of gamers out there and essentially has become a trend for PlayStation titles to take a bit of time to break down these features before launch. They state this in the blog, the prophecy of Ragnarok brings changes to all the realms. And with that, we're excited to announce some new accessibility features that will be available in God of War Ragnarok. Not only have we redesigned our UI to allow for more flexibility and readability, but we also rebuilt controller remapping from the ground up and added more customization to our combat and interaction systems. We have retained all our accessibility features from 2018's God of War and expanded upon them to include more than 60 ways to adjust gameplay to best suit your style and needs. I'll leave the article linked to check out all those accessibility feature changes. Uh, at the end of the article, they kind of tease the hype to launch simply stating, we can't wait to share more with you as we get closer to launch. Not really much, of course, but a nice indication that they have begun the process it looks like after yesterday's blog article. Now, the thing that got a lot of attention was the visual changes to the latest new clip from the game. I'm not sure how some say they don't see the difference, the lighting... Uh, changed, Atreus's fur, uh, fur looks more flush, you can see more of the surrounding area, etc. It's just amazing how much attention a small clip, a like 5 second clip got from the uh, from the audience, from the public, the next full trailer of God of War Ragnarok is about to blow up very quickly. Hopefully the next full trailer isn't far as well. June seems to be the hotspot for more PlayStation news. Maybe we'll hear something next week considering rumors point to a bigger earlier June event, meaning Sony should talk about it next week unless it's a state of play, which they'll talk about maybe the week after if it is happening the first week of June. Of course, We'll see how things go. Now diving into the second story of the video, the big PlayStation 5 backwards compatibility news. So as we know, PlayStation 5 will be getting support to play legacy titles later this month. This includes the ability to play both PlayStation 1 and PlayStation Portable titles. PS2 was already there before. Sony has confirmed that these classic titles will get resolution and FPS boost support, which is of course nice to see and personally for me the most important part to get me interested in replaying some of these games or even playing them uh, for the first time so that's all good they also revealed that ps1 and ps uh, portable titles can be purchased outside of the playstation plus service on the playstation store and that if you bought these games before you don't have to buy them again which was surprising news to see on my end to hear sony do this but of course it's nice to see now the big one for a lot of people when it came to these classic titles is are these are these games going to get trophy support? I personally, again, don't care about trophy support. It's nice to see that pop up sometimes, but I'm not rushing after the platinum for each game. But there are a lot of people out there that love this part of PlayStation, and it's confirmed coming to at least some PlayStation 1 titles. Sony Ben, the people behind Days Gone, and of course the Siphon Filter franchise revealed yesterday that Siphon Filter will in fact have trophy support. A PlayStation 1 game <laughs> will have trophy support. They stated this on the tweet confirming this news. Incoming from Ben Studio, Agent Intel reports that Siphon Filter will include trophies when it arrives on the new, all new PlayStation Plus. Just from this tweet, I saw people more interested in upping their subscription service from essential which is just playstation plus as it is right now all the way to premium 
just because of the trophy support. The next question was, will this support a platinum trophy? And yes, it will, as confirmed by Sony Bend again. It's going to be crazy to see people on Twitter talk about platinuming the original siphon filter. Um, it's, it's also going to be exciting to see. The bad side of this news, however, is this could potentially slow down the rollout of PlayStation 1 games, but there's also a possibility it won't. If it's not mandated for every PlayStation 1 game that comes to the service or on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 to have trophies, then we'll get more of these games coming out. But if it's mandated for every game to have trophy support, then the rollout will probably be slow we'll see of course this is one game confirmed to have trophy support will the other playstation 1 games have it too this will tell us how playstation 1 games coming back will work we should be able to find out this coming tuesday which is when the service drops in asian markets but you guys let me know if you're excited for trophy support on playstation 1 games or not let me know down in the comments below and now diving into the final story of the video, graphics upgrade 2.0 confirmation. So I want to keep this story simple. FSR, which stands for Fidelity FX Super Resolution, is AMD's video game engine tool to allow games to run at a higher FPS while maintaining visual quality. For example, you can run a game at native 4K, uh, 1440p but upscale it to 4K. Since it's not native 4K, it frees up resources that allows the game to run at a higher FPS. So instead of running a game at native 4k 30 you can run it at 4k upscaled at 60 frames per second now the important part here is the upscale point fsr 1.0 which launched uh, last year did it well to a certain degree it maintained that 4k image decently which was amazing since this was amd's first rendition of this tool fsr 2.0 is a bigger leap where it's been mentioned by amd that the tool could keep visual quality equal to 4k native 4k or surpass native 4k which is a pretty big claim to make now last year when fsr 1.0 was revealed and xbox confirmed it was coming to the platform so many people out there even those in the games industry said it wouldn't be coming to the ps5 or there was a possibility it wouldn't be coming to the ps5 i was surprised to hear this uh back then since this was an open source tool that works on even nvidia cards it worked on nvidia cards but you guys are saying it doesn't work on playstation 5 or probably might not come to the playstation 5 then you fast forward a bit and here comes arcade get in which was the first title on console to receive fsr 1.0 support so sony didn't say anything about fsr and xbox amd made it a highlight but the first game on console to get it was a playstation 5 game i say this because the same narrative happened this year with fsr 2.0 and the same xbox amd highlight happened again again and i don't know how people don't see the deja vu here <laughs> this is the same exact thing that happened last year regardless an article uh has been making the rounds recently confirming that fsr 2.0 will be a part of forespoken on playstation 5 and pc reading from novice gamer guides the pc and playstation 5 versions will also benefit from the amd fsr 2.0 implementation there are different modes available in the game including quality mode and a native 4K mode. These will offer better performance while sacrificing some visual fidelity. This article came out a few days ago, but if you look into it, Luminous Productions, the people behind the game, had a press release on this back in March with a video showcasing technical features of Forspoken with FSR 1.0 being highlighted, but FSR 2.0 was also mentioned to be in development and ready for the retail version of the game, which is set to release later this year. I say all this to point out the articles that make it seem like the playstation 5 is behind and we'll get this feature later this on after xbox they said the same thing about fsr 1.0 and playstation 5 was the first one to get it on console putting that to the side it's great to see forespoken is going to have uh, fsr 2.0 which means those 60 frames per second modes will also look really good but you guys let me know if you're excited for forespoken or not let me know down in the comments below and if you guys did enjoy this video please hit that like button as it always helps to subscribe if you're new i got new videos every monday Wednesday and Friday, and now I'll check you guys out on the next one. And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do is to body, obliterate, destroy, and overall harass the comment section with bring on the new week. The new PlayStation Plus subscription service is going to roll out to the first region next week with classic titles coming and the full list of new games or 
older games set to come to the service. I'm excited to see all of that. If you are as well, destroy the comment section with bring on the new week. And I'll definitely heart those comments like I always do because I appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my videos. And now I'll check you guys out on the next one.